welcome to Are You Ready? I'm Sarah Peterson, here with my Carpenter President of Asset Guard. How are you today? I'm doing good. How are you doing? I'm doing great, thank you. It's a beautiful day to talk about retirement, as yes, always with it you. Is. <laughs> I want to jump right in. You know, this has been an unprecedented couple of years in a lot of ways. Uh, we've seen change we never, ever could have expected, and now we are sort of dealing with uh, a lot of inflationary issues. We have a spending problem, and inflation is impacting people in real, real ways right now. So I think it's important that we talk about ways we can sort of hedge this in planning for retirement. Well, everyone is pointing their fingers, and ultimately what I try to help people do is understand everything that's going on in the broad scope of things, but ultimately, how can you take care of yourself? Now, to give you an example, as we go back, because we haven't had inflation like this since the 70s and 80s. And to get, just to give you my own personal example, I bought my first house in 1981. I remember November of 1981 sitting in there signing my first mortgage paper and looking down at 360 payments. And I thought I was getting a special deal. They said, you're getting a special deal and my interest rate was 11 and 7 eighths. But the, the street rate for mortgage rates was almost 20% that year. I was getting a first time home buyer's discount. Now why did that happen? Because of the inflation in the 70s, the Fed raised interest rates. Does that sound familiar? Mm -hmm. That's what's happening now. So this massive inflation that we've seen on houses here recently as the government starts raising the interest rate on mortgages, then everything's going to start slowing down, falling apart. I mean, they're saying things that they're going to do that's going to ultimately hurt us, but it, who are you working with that's helping you, you know, who's in your, your shadow working through these things, and that's what we do. It's interesting because we have a family member who uh, retired within the last 10 years and purchased a new home recently, and when, it, when mortgage rates were still incredibly low, you know, we as a family encouraged her to take on a mortgage with her new home that she just bought. And go, you know, she's retired. She said, I, I can't have debt. This is not what we do. And we said, this is good debt. And now I'm really pleased that we did that because now seeing where rates are headed, I wouldn't have advised her the same way. Yeah, because the inflation rate is also hitting the rental market even worse. I mean, I've seen, I know some people that have been in a condo for the last two years, and they weren't planning on being there for that long, but their rent on their condo has gone up 34% in two years. Wow. 34%. Insane. And there's a lot of people that are living in that community that are on fixed incomes, just as the example you gave. Where are they going to get this, this money to take care of it? Because if they try to move to a, a cheaper, more affordable place, it might be in a less desirable you know, part of the town. And retirement's all about enjoyment, mm -hmm. not worry. Absolutely. Well, inflation is impacting us in, in so many ways. What are the concerns you see people coming to you with? Well, some people are, are thinking about actually delaying their retirement. I mean, I've had some people come in and they were ready to retire and still could retire, but you know, they've just lost $200,000. They, they didn't get into me in time and they lost a tremendous amount of money. Now, I know that in this particular case, their advisor sent them an email saying, just hang in there. It's going to come back. Okay, well, how long is it going to take to come back? Mm -hmm. I mean, if you lose 50%, it takes a 100% gain to break even. Now, why do I use the 50%? Because the last major crisis we went through, that's how approximately how much the S&P from October of 2007 to March of 2009, that's what it dropped. And when you look at the period from 99 to 2013, the S&P took 14 years to break even. And if you've just retired, you're looking forward to doing all those things and your 401k just lost 50%, you know, are you going to go back to work? <laughs> I mean, I mean, you don't have the luxury sometimes of 14 years to now, wait. There's a lot of, you know, help wanted signs, but how many 65-year-olds or 70-year-olds are going to go sling a hamburger in, at, at McDonald's? Well, I mean, that's not practical. 
So that's why having a written plan and having your money in a safe position and safely growing and having a, a, an actual objective to your money and that income stream is vitally important. Well, and what about the people who, you know, when they came to you, they said, okay, here are the things I want to build into my plan. I want to take this, you know, cruise around the world or I've got to plan my daughter's wedding and those things that, you know, they're big expenses. Well, those are some of the things that I have on this list here that people are having to now make adjustments to. For example, a lot of grandparents help their grandchildren with what expense? College. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people have 529 plans that are, were set up for college. Well, now, instead of their, their son or daughter going to UNC or Duke, they might have to go to a community college. I mean, it's, it could be that severe. Or weddings. I mean, every mother and father want to give their daughter everything they want. But, you know, if things are the way they are and continue to be they are, and their, their money they're going to use to pay for the wedding has just reduced by 10 or 15 or 30 percent, you know, do they want to see that tear in their daughter's eye? Shift, yeah, shifting priorities is, is definitely inevitable as it, as it is in this unpredictable time. Well, that phone number is 844-546-1009. I want to make sure the viewers know exactly what it is that we're offering to the viewers of this show alone. Everybody that comes in and meets with me, we're going to spend about 30 to 45 minutes. You will walk out with this retirement planning guide. As I've mentioned, less than 10% of all Americans have a guide like this. This literally will cover everything from A to Z. The, the more detailed guaranteed planning strategies guide uh, is what we're ultimately going to go to, but this is going to help take that first step. Everyone gets this. There's no cost whatsoever. Well, and if they have been working with a financial advisor, perhaps in the accumulation phase and maybe haven't planned for retirement with that advisor or had these discussions, now would be the best time to get that second opinion. That phone number is 844-546-1009. We're going to take a quick commercial break. We'll come back and talk more about inflation and how to plan properly for your retirement. There's a lot that goes into making a good salad. You need patience and the right ingredients but you also have to take time to taste it along the way to make sure you're heading in the right direction. When I was a kid, I remember seeing my dad work three jobs to provide for me and the rest of my family. I watched my dad closely. I learned so much about business and how to work hard from him. All of that only grew once he started the family business in 1975. It was around that time that my mom started getting sick. I might have learned business from my dad, but it was my mom who really taught me how to deal with people, how to treat them, and how to love them well. It was in watching her provide and care for others, even in the midst of her failing health, that shaped a lot of who I am today. Mom passed away in 1988, and it was just a few years after that that I started my journey into the financial world by launching Asset Guard. I wanted to be different. I wanted to bring everything I had learned from my mom and dad into this company. I wanted to add a personal touch, an intentional effort to build relationships with our clients in an increasingly distant and digital world. This isn't just something I have been able to accomplish with my clients over the years, but my son and daughter have also come alongside me to help provide for our growing financial family. It's truly been a blessing being able to be so involved in our clients' lives. I've made so many new friends and lasting relationships and have even sat at deathbeds of a few of them who have passed away. It takes patience to build a stable financial future. You also need to make sure you have the right ingredients to make your money last. But the most important part about your finances are the people that they help sustain. We really care about those people and we want to do whatever we can to help them. Making a good salad can be an amazing thing, but it means nothing if you have no one to enjoy it with. 
Hello and welcome back to Are You Ready? I'm Sarah Peterson here with Mike Carpenter of Asset Guard. And we were talking before the break about inflation. This is a big topic because it's affecting all of us in so many deep ways. And maybe people are making lifestyle changes. Yep. You know. I have a, a list here, a recent survey. 42% are changing how they shop for groceries. 46% uh, are dining out less or spending less when dining out. 31% are driving less because of high gas prices. 23% are spending less on vacations or canceling them altogether. 22% are canceling subscriptions to the gym, their cable service. I mean, there's all sorts of adjustments we can make if you have to make them. Again, with proper planning, you, won't, you shouldn't have to make these radical adjustments. Now, for example, you can still go out to your favorite restaurant, but maybe you're, you and your husband make it a, a game. One week, he chooses the, the, the option, the menu. Another week, you choose. So, and you split a meal because typically a lot of these restaurants are giving enough food to feed you for a couple meals. Mm -hmm. You can still go enjoy the experience, enjoy the food, and, and, and sometimes a lot of people you know, don't get dessert because they're too full. Now you've you got a little room left to enjoy that favorite dessert. One of the favorite restaurants my wife and I go to in Winston is called Village Tavern, and they have this warm butter cake with a scoop of ice cream and fresh berries on top of it. So again, by, by splitting these meals and enjoying them, and I can certainly afford to, to pay for both of us, but why go out feeling hungry or taking food home that a lot of times you end up throwing away? Sure. Make it a game to, to win this, this war. And, and by having a good plan and working with somebody who understands these things, or maybe instead of going and buying two cans of Del Monte green beans from your grocery store, you go to Costco or Sam's or one of the other stores and get a case and you're going to be saving money. You've got to be a, a smart shopper. You know, I have a big family, so we're big Costco shoppers. And I oftentimes feel like I save money because it's easier cooking for more people sometimes than it is cooking for less. I know a lot of people, if it's just one or two people in a household, will eat out a lot. But if you really look at those expenses, that's definitely something we can all review. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, you have to look at everything. And because it's all about your enjoyment in life. You didn't work for 35 or 40 years only to be pinching pennies. Well, I know we were talking about uh, Social Security in a previous show, but I, I would like to really talk about how inflation affects Social Security also. So when they get together, the Social Security trustees get together in the fall of every year to determine what the growth's going to be, they're going to look at the CPI numbers and make their own adjustments. Now, typically, they throw out food, gas, and energy in order to come up with this, this cost of living adjustment. Right. Well, if they are actually doing that, and when you look at the last 22 year average, it was only 2.2. And in the last 22 years, we actually had several years where there was zero cost of living adjustments. Now, do you recall any time in the last 22 years that things went down in, in cost? No. And so, yeah, you know, there's a lot of of finagling that goes on behind the scenes, and I know because of history. If hindsight's 2020 vision, we look at what they did before, and now you know again, Social Security is going to be hit hard, and that's what every working American depends on for their retirement. It's part of your income, you know, plan. And you got to make sure that, that you're doing everything you can to maximize it because the government actually is doing everything it can to reduce it. Well, I, we have a little bit of time. I would love to start talking about how inflation uh, affects our long-term planning. And, and I know inevitably we all have to look at this, but what about nursing home planning and long-term care? Almost no one does the planning, and they think they're never going to be end up there. But again, statistics, there's many studies out there that talk about, you know, if you're 65, married, one of you is going to end up in a nursing home or some kind of care. It might be following a surgery and you need to rehab. You know, typically the, 
you know, heart attack, you know, heart issues will kill you, cancer will kill you. Um, it's really dementia, it's, it's the mental issues, and it's stroke. Strokes put, I, I had a client recently, her, I won't give her a name, but she was feeling fine on Saturday, and on Sunday she went to church, she was a little lightheaded, and, and she asked someone to take her to the emergency room, and sure enough, she was in the midst of a stroke. And um, after she got out of the hospital, they made her take her to her home because that's where everyone wants to go. But she needed around-the-clock nursing care, and that's twenty dollars an hour. So you do the math; it's you know well over fourteen thousand dollars a month. Mm -hmm. Well, she had a limited long-term care plan. We ate through that relatively quickly, and then I had to sit down, not her daughter. I had to sit down and say, "We need to get you into a nursing home." because we want to maintain the quality of your life and we're, we're, we're running through your funds too quickly. Because her dream, her goal was to make sure she left as much money, not necessarily to her daughter, but her grandchildren. Mm -hmm. And so there's a lot of things I'm called in to do, but you, know, you have to be working with somebody who knows that, you know, plans for the likelihood of that happening because it's ultimately going to impact your financial legacy. Mm -hmm. I mean, when someone you know, has this long-term care issue, this nursing home, and it starts much sooner than them wheeling you through the doors into a place you don't want to be, just like when my dad came to live with us for a couple of years, that's when long-term care be begins. And if you have a, an 80-year-old parent or a 75-year-old you know, parent and, and they need to come live with you or, or they want you to come live with them, you know, 55, 50 year olds, 60 year olds are in their prime earning years. They can't quit their jobs to go take care of mom and dad. Their heart wants them to, but that's what planning does. It's all about planning for the way you want to be cared for in your life. Well, if you have a plan or you don't, and most of you, I think, need this right now, more than ever. The number is 844-546-1009. It can be that second opinion. Find out if you're on the right path to where you need to be to set yourself up, set yourself up for success financially, emotionally, and spiritually in your retirement years. Stay with us. The phone lines do get really busy, but we'll come back and we'll get you some more wonderful information on planning for your retirement. When was the last time you saw your financial professional? Are you getting the most out of the strategy that was created for you? Although you've done a great job finding someone to help plan for your future, are you 100% sure that you were given the right strategy? We can help answer these questions and more with a complimentary second opinion evaluation. We will take a look at what you have in place and then help determine if you're well positioned to get the most out of your future retirement income. In the event that it is not, we can help by making suggestions and showing you how to get on the right path. You wouldn't get just one opinion when it comes to a major health decision, so why would you treat your most important financial decision with such disregard? Call today for your no-cost, no-obligation second opinion evaluation to see if you're getting the most out of your retirement income plan. Hello and welcome back to Are You Ready? I'm Sarah Peterson here with Mike Carpenter of Asset Guard. And Mike, I would love for you to tell me how this long-term care planning process works. So one of the sections in our Guaranteed Planning Strategies Guide is on long-term care. And one of the things everybody needs, every single person needs, is what we call the Long-Term Care Directive, which basically says, to your children or your loved ones, okay, if this happens, this is a, what, how I want to be treated. I've looked at the cost and I decided we're going to use our own assets to pay for our care. Whatever's left over is left over. Or you have a plan, a policy, but I've had people come in and they've had long-term care policies and they didn't even know how they paid out. They don't know how much per day it coverage. They don't know how many years it will cover for them. They don't know if they have a cost of living adjustment. But regardless whether you have an actual insurance plan or not, 
you need to have this long-term care directive. It's absolutely zero cost. And once it's done, it's done. And then you got to figure out, okay, if it does happen to me, how am I going to plan on paying for it? And that's where a lot of people are now using what's called fixed index universal life plans. And there are living benefits inside of these plans so that you can actually have tax-free income that you pull out of those plans to help you pay for long-term care. But if you don't ever need long-term care in your life, then you have more tax-free money going to your heirs when that time comes. That's what I was, had a question about. I mean, if you pay into long-term you know, care insurance and what happens with your spouse? Is there something left over for them? Well, if you're, if you're paying for a policy, you know, if you both qualified health-wise, then you both are going to be on the policy. Some policies have what's called a, a shared care plan. So if one, uh, one spouse burned through all their three years, they could borrow some of the coverage from you know, their other spouse. So there's many different plans. Some plans uh, have what's called a return of premium on them, where if you never use it, then they send all the money back to you. Wow. But to get one of those plans costs you a lot more on the front side. Most people didn't choose those plans. And now I'm seeing people coming in and say, Mike, can you look at this long-term care plan? Tell me what it is, what can I do? Because they're wanting to increase it. I mean, the long-term care companies didn't anticipate how long people were gonna stay in and how many people. The bottom line is in generations past, this wasn't an issue because <laughs> generations took care of themselves. If mom or dad or grandma needed help, you know, we all just moved into the biggest house. And, and we, we weren't all... living as long, and now we're living so much longer. So it used right. to be if somebody was 75, you're thinking, okay, this is life expectancy. And now that seems so young. And it goes back to making sure you have the right documents that says, look, if I get in this state, don't take any heroic efforts to keep me alive. I mean, keep me comfortable. But, you know, don't drag this thing out. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it's interesting because I think there is this fear that people have uh, about living their money. And, you know, it should be our biggest blessing, a long, you know, healthy, beautiful life. But people think, well, what if I live too long? There's an element of it's too long. It's more than I expected. And that makes me sad. I, if we can plan properly, it shouldn't be too long. It should just be that blessing that you get. Well, again, it, Everyone, this is where I, I talk in, after someone's retired, you can't go back and undo or change things, but I wish they would teach this to high school seniors to understand, you know, about financial lives for 70 or 80 or 90 or 100 years. And, um, you know, I take everyone, everyone's different. There's no two people the same that come into my office, but our objective is the same. Make sure that you have enough income to last as long as you or your spouse are alive. Whatever's left over, let's make sure it goes to the grandkids, the kids, as tax efficient as possible. And ultimately, if we can make it tax free while you're living, that's an added plus. I want to make sure that we can explain to the viewers about this process because I know that it can be intimidating for somebody who's sitting, you know, on the sofa right now thinking, okay, I have to have these conversations, but I just, I don't know where to begin. And I, I think that you really do simplify this process to make it as easy as possible for people. Well, knowing everything that I know in the 30 plus years I've been in this business, you know, it all has to be a part of the plan in, in every section, whether it's life insurance, long-term care, your assets, you know, understanding just your assets, because most people are concerned, yes, inflation is costing us more to do things, but your asset base, whatever that is, whatever you have in your IRA, we can position you so you don't have to worry about it. Our clients aren't ringing us up saying, Mike, what's going on, what's going on, because they know their position's safe. And when these adjustments come, they actually are going to go through a reset that's going to really position them for phenomenal growth when the, we find the bottom of this, but they're not losing anything right now. So when, the, when somebody's sitting on the sofa, they're going to get a piece of paper and a pen, 
We need to write down our goals, how we see this retirement going, what would make us happy and feel successful in this golden year of our life. And then when they give you a call, you're going to tell them everything they need as far as documents go yes. to bring to you to get this planning process started. And when they come in, it's, we're just going to have about a 30-minute conversation. A lot of times I chit-chat and soft talk and do all <laughs> these things. Just to, Again, I want to get to know you and I want you to get to know me because we're talking now about a lifelong relationship. I mean, I'm 63. When Sherry, who uh, works for me, she opens up our workshop, she says, Mike's a retirement planner, but he's not planning on retiring. Why? Because I love what I do. I may slow down a little bit, but my dad's 90 years old. He takes no medicine whatsoever. He can live to 100. And, and I make a commitment to follow my clients through their whole life. I want to be there to help them so that they know they got someone who's got their back. Well, and I think it's so important to know that you're kind of that one-stop shop so you can give us advice on all these things under this umbrella and make it a little less intimidating because it can be for a lot of people to bear their financial cards on the table. We, we can handle just about everything but your checking account. You know, we, we don't, I'll just tell you right now, we don't handle stocks. You know, everyone has different thoughts about that. But, you know, we have all lines of personal insurance. Uh, annuities, long-term care, you know, the planning tool, you know, the planning is, is it, you know, we fit the instrument inside the plan. The plan is how you're going to enjoy your life for the next 10, 20, 30 years. Well, and I think that's the bigger part of the picture is that you see this plan in a much, with a bigger purpose uh, than just the money itself. And so if you haven't thought about what is your dream retirement look like, now is the time to write down those things. Get your pen and paper out and write down what do I see my retirement like and how do I want to live this golden year, these golden years of my life. And then you pick up the phone and call 844-546-1009 what Mike is offering to you today is just for the viewers of this show alone. So when you call in, it might get busy, but please do have patience. I know other advisors charge $1,000 or more for this process, and you're giving this to the viewers for taking the time to be educated with us. It's, it's absolutely free. Everyone in our office has done this on their own personal lives, and everyone that comes in and meets with me will get this absolutely free. As I've mentioned, less than 10% of Americans have this. You'll walk out of this with no cost and hopefully we become lifelong friends. The only cost is the time that it takes for you to get that pen and paper, write down this phone number and pick up that phone. Whether or not you have a financial advisor that you've been working with, this can be your second opinion. So I think there is literally no reason not to pick up that phone. And thank you again for taking the time. You always educate us and, and you make it just seem so effortless. Well, thank you. And thank you for taking the time and your road to retirement to visit with us. We hope to see you on the next show. Thank you and have a great day.